I didn't realize that it opens at 10 today instead of their usual 9, so we're waiting like 15, 20 minutes for them to open and then we'll go. So we're actually early. I thought we were an hour late, but we are 20 minutes early. Hopefully there's some good stuff. They just opened and everything is so clean and organized. Your eyebrows? They hurt. I, it's not as bad as last time. You've gotten it done a few times, so feel good. Yeah. Hi, I'm back. I wanted to do it in the car, but then there's just like a lot of people going in and out, and it was hot. And if I put the AC on, then it's too loud. But if I turn it off, I have to open the windows, and then people can hear me, and it's awful. So I didn't actually film that much of the actual experience, but sorry, I'm gonna do a quick haul. Video with the trooper. We got out of there in a little less than an hour and a half. Like in and out, so it's not too bad. The first thing that I got was these blue pants. They are Ann Taylor Loft, and they were 250. I'm just gonna tell you the prices that I got them at the actual 50% off. So, well, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna continue on with what I got, and I just I spent forty dollars. So here's the thing: I feel like Savers got a lot more expensive recently, and which is kind of annoying. And um, Alexis Sunshine, I watch her, and she said something similar. It's funny because I watched her video this morning, and she was at the Fountain Valley Savers, and I commented, I was like, "Oh, I'm going to save for their fifty percent off," and it is a little bit pricier, but still, it's sustainable and it's not that expensive. But yeah, their store prices have risen though. It is what it is. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. The first thing, like I said in the last clip, was these pale blue pants from Ann Taylor. And they're just something different than wearing pants, like jeans. So I've been trying to get different colored pants and like flowy pants and just like a mix of bottoms. So I got these and I guess if I ever work in an office, in a traditional office job, then I could also wear them to work. But for now, I think it'll just be a fun light summer staple to have and it looks a little bit more mature like I have my life put together and then I got these shoes and like I was saying also I don't I feel uncomfortable wearing other people's shoes like feet are just like a big thing but I have gotten new shoes from thrift stores and then the soles on these look brand new it looks like they've just been on the shelf so I got fake Burks and I tried them on and I've never been into the Burke trend but i've had a bunch of sandals that are just like that so i got these just for fun to try out an old trend that i never got into four dollars so i didn't even think it was that big of a deal then i got this nine west purse and it looks like something my mom would have had it was 250 and so i just got it i'm sure my mom has something like this but all the stuff that ends up not fitting me or i don't really like i'm just gonna resell it not anything for like a super huge profit just to get my money back, but it's like an old 90s style looking purse, 2000s. My mom definitely has something like this, and I only have fancier or fancier looking black purses, so I got this. And there's a lot of really cute, cheap purses, so I decided to get two of them. This, anyways, as I was, just, as, la, la, as I was saying, the second bag was this purse. And okay, this is definitely not something I would normally pick up. And I got it, or it caught my eye because it looked like super fake, but I actually don't know if it's fake or not. I've never heard of the brand, so I looked it up. And let me look it up again for you guys. It looks like it's brand new too, and give me a second to explain why I got it. I was just, oh, oh I guess that's it. 
Well, so I was just browsing like prices really quick because sometimes I'll look while I'm at a thrift store and these purses are like $150 on Amazon and they have their own site. So I guess it's like some sort of like high-end designer brand. Obviously not like Gucci or like Versace or like any of that. I picked it up because it looks, I mean, it is a designer. I didn't know that, but when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it looks like those designer like Louis, Gucci, Chanel, like little backpacks and I've been looking at them and have never purchased anything designer Maybe later in my life when I'm a grown woman, but I have other things to pay for and designer is not one of them But I've been watching a lot of other people who can't afford designer or like to collect it Even if they're like a normal human being like me and I've actually been liking watching them and their cool little designer stuff So I think this would be a fun little That's like my word instead of cute's like second you know how everyone says cute? Mine's fun. I'm like, that's fun. It's more of a luxurious looking thing that I do not own. I have a fake Chanel and it's like ripped to shreds. So this looks a lot more put together. That's what I'm trying to go for in my style is put together. And the inside has nice structure to it. It can't hold that much, but it's still a really good size. And I, it's perfect. As I've shown you 10,000 times, like there's no flaws as the zipper closure. So you can hold it on one side or you can, I guess, put it across if you wanted, but you wouldn't, and then a double. And then the back also has a zipper so you can get in to this secret pocket if you're traveling. This is great. So that was very exciting. And it was $9.99, so I got it for $5. Um, what? So that. It was like, I think this was my favorite purchase. Like it was worth it just to go for this, I think. And even like the shoes, everything was, the purses were like especially worth it. Then I got these overalls and they're corduroy, corduroy green overalls. And I was unsure about them. I didn't try anything on, by the way. I did not want to wait in that line. I didn't care. Things I didn't like, I would give it to like my sister or one of my friends or I would just resell it. But this looked like it was my size. So I'm going to try it on. A few moments later. Okay, the legs fit, the waist is a little bit big because it's 27, and it just fits me a little bit weird because I have a very long torso. Um, so I might resell these, but they would be cute on someone else for sure. Just not, <laughs> I just don't think it's for me, but someone else will love these. And it's just these, and I didn't actually look at the brand first, but they're free people. They're 27, so they're a little bit big. I'm a, like a 25. So hopefully they kind of fit, maybe. They were $6.99, so I got them for $3.50, which was awesome. And I actually saw this other pair of overalls that were white, and they were denim, and they were beautiful, and they weren't in its place, and I was like, oh, it's meant to be. And then when I was checking out, I saw that a bunch of the buttons on the side were gone, and I was so bummed because they were perfect and I just didn't notice, but I'm glad I noticed before or else that would have been like seven bucks down the drain. White is my next one. I have a bunch of different denim ones, black ones. Hopefully these fit and then I'm looking for white ones, but yeah. I'm gonna try these on and I'll let you know if they fit. These were really cute as well. Even though corduroy is more of like a fall trend, the color could be, I don't know, it's a stretch. It's not within season, but I'll make it in season. My thing keeps blinking and I'm waiting for it to die is this skirt. I really hope it fits. This was one of the more expensive buys. It's from The Limited in a size small. It's 100% silk. That's cool. Oh, I guess it might be part of their silk line because it says silk on the bottom. And this was originally $12, so I got it for six, so this was definitely on the spendier side. But I've been wanting, is there a hole in here? I can see little dots. I don't think there are holes, okay. So, as you guys know, that long, silky leopard print skirt is super on trend. I will flash photos so you know. And I was about to buy one, and I was like, oh, at 20 bucks, I was like, I don't think I can even wear that multiple times seeing people. And like, I'm someone who likes to just like, mix it up. One of my best friends, Haley, she's always like, we've been best friends forever. Like, I've known her since I was four. I've known her as long as Crystal. So, she's always like, you're always in a different outfit. And I'm not but I am. And so I'm one of those people where it's like, I try not to wear the same outfit in front of you because I have a lot of clothes. So there's like reason to it. 
like even if I have a really cute outfit I try not to wear it again because I have so many items where it's like why would I repeat so then I got this and it's a midi skirt. I haven't tried any of these on, so I'll give you an update later. And it's more of like a reptile print, but it's brown and neutral. And I think I can wear this more than I could wear the silky, um, shiny leopard print skirt. So I'm actually very excited. This would be really cute with my new bag, even if that was like clashing prints, but with this white shirt knotted, I'm wearing a skirt right now. Yeah, or a tank top would be cool. I saw this girl in a green reptile skirt. Very trendy looking woman with gray. So I'm trying to mix colors I normally wouldn't in prints, but I was super excited about this. I tried to choose things that I was only very excited about. The only thing that was like maybe excited was those blue pants, but even those I was pretty excited. So I tried to get things that really made my heart happy and that would not lessen my joy very quickly. That didn't even make sense, okay. That I would have to Marie Kondo quickly. So I got two more things. This clear dress, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I just thought it was so pretty. It's, I got it from the lingerie section and it was $3, $3 after the discount. So it's a clear dress. I think I might just wear a slip under it with like docks and it just really caught my eye. I, had, I was like, oh, I don't need this, but I'm gonna try it on with a slip and see what it looks like. And I'm glad you guys can see through it. So there's that. And the last thing I got was, there was two of them that I actually saw. It's a large, but I tried it on and it fit. So I don't know if it's, I think it's women's. I don't know, I was in the size 13 to 14 and it was large because there's a lot of vintage dresses that will end up in the bigger sizes, but they'll fit me. And it's in the brand Bloom. Oh, Bloop. It kind of looks like the Nordstrom, like a BP kind of brand. I saw a different print in, like a uh, purple, but it looked really cheap. So I got this. It's very free people looking and I tried it on and it was really cute. Uh, nice and long. It's not too short. It's a short dress, but it's longer than most of my other dresses, which I like. So this will be nice with some brown sandals, maybe a hat and on a like cooler summer day, like 70s and sunny, but you can still wear a dress, but cool enough to wear sleeves. So I need to wear this soon before it gets blazing hot in SoCal, even though our blazing hot is like 90 degrees and I know some people get like 120 like in Arizona, Nevada, but for us, that's blazing hot and I'm okay with that. So this was cute. If you're a booty sort of girl, this was booties would be cute if you wanted to transition into fall. I'm not a booty sort of girl. My legs aren't long enough to wear booties and like a dress, so. Yeah, those are all the things that I got. Um, I know my channel is literally just vlogs and hauls. I am thinking of other content um, coming up. Okay, my battery died again. Sorry, this is like a janky vlog. I'm doing this vlog style because I have so many other hauls. This one's just a lot more casual and talking to each other. And yeah, um, I hope that you guys liked watching that. I liked doing it. I spent 40 bucks for one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight items. So if you do the math, it's about $5 per item, which I don't think is bad. Not as cheap as a Goodwill. Thins, but not bad. Three hours later. It was so messy. Look at that. It's so much cleaner. Okay, after that, but nice and clean. I'm cleaning my room little by little. So I'm gonna start with my vanity and then I'm gonna move my way to my room. I'm in a trash bag right now. My mom's gonna touch up my hair. Um, it's just a little bit gross and light. So just a little bit of a touch up. My mom's like the only one I trust with my hair nowadays with cutting and coloring it. So we're gonna go with that. So just a refresh. And no, I'm not gonna trim any of my hair. It's disgusting, but I just cannot. Yeah. So that's what we do win. That's why I don't like killing your... Wow, look mommy match. <laughs>